Tonight, uh, first half, we were down 24. Masyadong malalim yung hinabol namin. Eh, I told the guys nga, kung, kung kaya namin maglaban ng second half na ganun ka, yung level of energy and enthusiasm and focus was there in the second half. Pero no first half, wala eh. So, kahit na naka, napababa namin ng five, 5 points yung lamang, medyo... Medyo nung kumambi ulit si Alaska, hindi na namin inabot. Feeling ko nga dahil napakalalim yung 24 points sa uh, natampak sa amin na first. Coach, yung ito sa trade, uh, what made you decide to uh, do the trade with your heart? Uh, ano yung reason? Uh, yung sa kayo kay KG. Kasi ako, personally, I, I, I always believe in KG's game. Uh, I always believe na si KG may advantage dito sa liga natin, sa, sa taga niya na naglalaro rito. Could, the guy could play down low and obviously could shoot uh, from the, beyond the arc which pinakita niya kanina. So, yun yung, yun yung uh, isang reason. And with, with Mike Colombia naman, I always believe then na uh, that guy could make an impact sa liga. Kailangan lang niya ng exposure. Kasi the guy could, could, could create offense, could create shots, not only for himself, but for his teammates as well. Pero again, adjustment period pa rin dahil kahapon lang sila umatay ng practice. Eh. So, uh, we'll, give them, we'll give them and we'll give us time to, to really know each other that quickly. And, Sadly nga lang, hindi namin ako yung panalo, hindi hindi niya hinahanap namin. Uh, would you say yung siyang dalawa mo dalo, kung ano man yung pula ng team mo na parang kung pula ka nila? Kasi as with, as with, as with Mike Tolomia, wala kaming ganong slasher ngayon. Diba? If you could see, wala kaming ganong slasher ngayon. So, added, added weapon si Mike kapag ka nag-settle down na siya sa sa sistema na and yun yan and nakita din natin si KG kanina playing the 3, playing the 4 spot which he was effective tonight, yun yan lang sobrang lalim nga nung, sobrang lalim nga nung 24 points na hinabol namin kaya hindi kami umabot okay.